everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you a simple trick to memorizing polyatomic ions. I found this very helpful so I decided to share it with you. Remember that this trick only works for the 8 form of the polyatomic ions. Once you memorize the 8 form, it is very simple to learn the other 3. We'll be able to memorize these polyatomic ions by simply remembering Nick the baby camel ate an inch clam for supper in Phoenix. Let's start with Nick. N in Nick stands for nitrogen. B in baby stands for bromine. C e in camel stands for carbon. I in inch stands for iodine. CL stands for chlorine. S stands for sulfur. And P stands for phosphor. The number of consonants in the word stand for how many oxygens are in the polyatomic ion. In Nick, there are three consonants, N, C, and K, which makes three oxygens. The number of vowels stand for the charge of the polyatomic ion. In this case, I is the only vowel, which makes negative one as the charge. We've got our first polyatomic ion, which is NO3 negative one, and this stands for nitrate. The next word has three consonants, B, B, and Y. This makes O3. This also has one vowel, which makes the charge negative one. It makes the polyatomic ion bromate, which is BrO3 negative one. Use the same process for the rest. Now let's compare with the 8 list. NO3-1 for nitrate. BRO3-1 for bromate. CO3-1 for carbonate. IO3-1 for iodate. Now we've learned 8. Next, I'm going to show you how to memorize per 8, ite, and hypoite. Now we found 8. To find out per 8, it is just one oxygen more than 8. To find out ite, it is one oxygen less than 8. And to find out hypoite, it is two oxygens less than eight. Let's pick an example. Bromate, BrO3, negative one. To convert bromate into perbromate, all we have to do is add one oxygen, making BrO3, negative one, to BrO4, negative one. To make bromate into bromite, all we have to do is subtract one oxygen, making BrO3, negative one, into BrO2, negative one. And lastly, to make bromate into hypobromite, we have to subtract two oxygens, making BrO3-1 into BrO-1. Notice how the charge remains the same for all four. You can use the same technique for all the other polyatomic ions, but notice how some of these don't exist in other states. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!